Hello everyone and welcome back to Pro Design Channel. In this tutorial, we will be diving into how you can import any 3ds Max component with all materials perfectly ready for render into SketchUp. This is particularly for V-Ray for SketchUp users who want to expand their collections of hyper-realistic 3D models and save themselves a lot of stress and time. Without further ado, let us get right into it. First, search for yourself grid models from any 3D website of your choice. Once you are satisfied with one, download it. In most cases, you will find attached to the downloaded 3D files all materials used on it. Then open your 3D component in 3ds Max and prepare it for conversion. Make sure your render is set to V-Ray. Ensure you link the attached bitmap to your object. You can do this by either using the configure project paths or use the Collins Relink bitmap plugin. I will link it in the video description. If the 3D file was prepared with Corona or other rendering engines different from V-Ray, then you must convert to V-Ray compatible materials. This is how you do it. Select the object. On the menu, click on V-Ray menu. And from the drop-down options, click on converters. From the list, click on V-Ray Scene Converter, follow the instructions and check the boxes of your preferred options. If the 3D file was prepared with V-Ray, then you can export immediately to SketchUp. However, you must check and ensure all materials are well set on V-Ray within 3 d Smart before you export to SketchUp. With that said, let's begin the conversion process. Select the object you wish to export. Click on the V-Ray menu. From the drop-down options, select V-Ray Scene Exporter. Uncheck Export Settings and use X Format for Transform. Keep Compressed and use X Format for Mesh checked and ignore errors. Once that is done, set the export path to where you wish to save the file on your PC, then click Export. Next, open your SketchUp application on the V-Ray Objects toolbar. Click on Import Proxy or V-Ray Scene. Select the object you just converted from 3ds Max and open. Click to drop on your SketchUp scene. If not found, click on Zoom Extend to to easily find it. It comes in as a mesh. Resize to fit your use. Once all these are done, let's set our scene to test how it appears when we render. Go to V-Ray Frame Buffer. Under Settings, in the environment section, uncheck the material box, change the background color to white, and increase the value to 30. This is to help us preview our objects quickly. In your own case, you can choose to light your scene the way you want. Then click on the render or interactive button to preview. Follow these simple steps to bring any 3D model from 3 d Max to SketchUp with all materials intact. If you find this video helpful, kindly like subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified anytime a video like this is published. Thanks for watching and happy rendering. 